this is going to revolutionize human life. It's already beginning. It's going to mean that all of the genetic defects that have caused so much pain and suffering for people for millions of years, all of that could potentially be removed. So why does the great woman who invented this wake up in the middle of the night worrying about it? When I started this research project, we were certainly not thinking about uh, technology that would allow alteration of, of, of human evolution or anything of that nature. And over the last uh, few years, when, as this technology has begun to uh, be deployed globally in different, uh, for different applications, I've found that I've gone from, you know, thinking about it initially just with, you know, sort of almost, uh, you know, wide-eyed excitement thinking about all the opportunities that this offers to realizing that, you know, there was real risk and that, that we really needed, we meaning the scientific community and really, frankly, the, the human community needed to be aware of this and discussing it. And one of the things that, that sort of brought that to the forefront of my mind was a dream that I had. Uh, fairly early on, uh, in which I was, uh, you know, I walked into a room and a, a colleague of mine said to me, uh, Jennifer, I'd like you to explain the CRISPR technology to a friend. And he, he brought me into a room and uh, there, a person was uh, sitting with their back to me. And as they turned around, I realized with sort of a hor hor horror that it was it was Hitler. And it was actually Hitler with a sort of a pig nose and it almost looked like a chimeric pig human uh, sort of sort of creature uh, and it was it was you know it sounds funny in a way to relate that image but it in the dream it was a terrifying thing and I, I really felt real just you know stone cold fear in the dream and and sort of woke up from that dream with a start and, and realized you know kind of had this initial feeling of what what have I done you know and <laughs> And that was really one of the things that that, uh, that that motivated me to, you know, to get out of the lab and start talking to people more broadly about the technology, about its capabilities, about the great things about it, but also about things that really required uh, really uh, deep thought and, and careful uh, consideration and regulation. I think.